All right, good morning to everyone out there today. It is 9.04 a.m. I posted a video a little bit earlier on this morning. Um, you got a live look at radar right now. Um, I've checked local reports around the Raleigh area, and it, even though it's showing pink, I don't think that's hitting the ground quite yet, or last time I checked it wasn't in Raleigh anyways. Um, again, most of the precip from this storm is going to stay to our south and east of Iredell County, um, but I'm not going to rule out uh, dusting or an inch or so in parts of Iredell County. Um, we'll have to see um, how this moisture back here develops, okay? Because it's starting to diminish right through here. And there's this dry slot. It's kind of scaring me. And that right there, because that's going to be pretty much the cutout for the heavier precip. And that looks like it's going to slide to our south. So that's not a good set up. But I do want to show you this, okay? Here's some differences in the modeling, okay? Here's some interesting solutions, okay? Um, Matthew East this morning, he's a meteorologist I follow. He was saying this is the lowest confidence forecast he's pretty much ever given and this close to the event. And it is. It's just modeling has not been good with the system at all from the beginning. Um, yeah. But anyways, 500 millibar charts. Okay, this is on the NAM. You see the short wave, uh, let me see, right here. Well, you can't see it, but now you can. Right there in Idaho and Montana. All right, well, this is going to dive south. All right, you see it coming through. And the NAM shows it kind of going as far south as Virginia and West Virginia and Kentucky. Okay. Uh... I'll show you what this means here in a minute. But here is the Canadian, and it shows it getting going a little further south. Um, Tennessee, say the stopping point. Uh, same thing with the European. Uh, the GFS kind of agrees with the NAM, and the NAM, of course, agrees with the NAM. It's just a later run. Um, or actually, no, it's not. It's the same run. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but anyways. We'll see what happens. Um, if this short wave, okay, if it goes not as far south and, say, gets stuck in Ohio, then that means less precip for everywhere in North Carolina and lighter snowfall totals, therefore. Um, but if this precip, or if this precip, if this short wave goes further south, say, into Georgia and Tennessee and South Carolina, then that means more precip over central North Carolina and more available to be thrown over to western North Carolina, us, here in Statesville. So, we'll have to see what verifies, um, but we'll, we'll just have to see. Um, you know, if the further north solution verifies, then the only snowflakes in falling in my yard might be the ones I've already got tied up to a line in front of my house. Um, if the further south one verifies, it might be snowflakes that fall from the sky and accumulate on the ground um, so we'll just have to see with this system um, it's amazing how this is just a watch and see and kind of a thing where you gotta say you know the models aren't always the most trusting thing but we'll see I'll give you another update soon but thank you for watching and see you later